Trời ơi Trời ơi Trời ơi Trời ơi Trời ơi Oh. I have no idea what game they're playing, but that looked awesome. I have about a week until I have to head north to Portland. And pretty much like the last thing that I wanted to show you guys and see for myself is the downtown San Francisco area. Specifically, Chinatown. So we're just gonna hop on the bus, take it to downtown Chinatown. Or at least to downtown and then walk to Chinatown. We'll see. Have you. directions from Katie who was in a couple vlogs ago. Thanks Katie for the directions how to get to Chinatown. It's a San Francisco Saturday. Living on the road all the days kind of blend in together. I don't really feel like I have weekends anymore. If you have your time management down pretty much every day could be a Friday or Saturday. I'm not quite to that point yet but hopefully soon. <laughs> That's one way to go. <laughs> we are now at the crossroads of Howell Street and Bush Street. And we are now close to the Dragon's Gate, which is the iconic entrance into Chinatown. If you didn't know, Chinatown is actually the biggest Asian community outside of China. Not just in North America, but in the world. Besides just exploring the crap out of Chinatown, I'm thinking at least have two objectives. First off, try to eat something weird, like maybe an eyeball or monkey brains, I don't know. And second off, try to find at least one sticker that represents San Francisco or Chinatown or both to add to my longboard. are these sandals these are massage shoes I've never seen anything like this who couldn't wear those in kung fu class <laughs> no you could not they would not work very well no it would I don't know if they have brains in there or eyeballs but they do have some authentic Chinese food there's a jar of abalone. I've never heard of it before. It's some kind of clam related creature. This is a can of abalone for $45. Must be super rare and super hard to get. It really smells like weed. I just had to try it. Looks so much different than the bananas I'm used to. This thing is massive. 
Holy crap. It's actually a lot different. It tastes like a raw banana. So it's harder and it's not sweet. Oh. I'm gonna try a fish ball and a tea egg. Cause I've never had either. It's hot boiled egg with tea sauce, Chinese tea sauce. Ooh, sounds good actually. <laughs> sounds really good. Take off the shell. Okay. I had to try some candy too. Thank you, sir. Well, I'm gonna enjoy my fish ball and tea egg. This is some freaking cool dancing. I might have to learn this dance, bring it to the nightclubs. Or maybe I should teach them my moves. Not. Well, here goes a fish ball. It's actually pretty good. Very good. Now it's time for the tea egg. Ooh, yummy. Pretty much just a hard boiled egg soaked in tea. Special Chinese tea. It's so much better than a regular hard boiled egg. Wow. Dang. Seriously, this is so good. I might have to look up that recipe. Start boiling my eggs with Chinese tea on my double burner propane stove. Got some candy that looks like a freaking Lego. Everything, oh no. Everything is awesome. Oh, it's hard, really hard. Oh, it tastes just like a Lego. Obviously wasn't gonna record inside the bathroom, but there was a guy taking a crap in the urinal. Welcome to Chinatown. This bus just broke down in the worst possible spot, right in the middle of the intersection. These people are not gonna be too happy about that. Chinatown has been awesome. The last thing I need to do yet is find a sticker. I mean, it should have been pretty easy, right? I just was kind of like trying to see stuff before I found one. I found one. It was pretty cool. I didn't see any like Chinatown stickers, but Golden Gate Bridge, San Francisco. Getting it. Thank you. Have a nice day. You as well. Thank you for the sticker. <laughs> well, we got a sticker. We ate some weird food. Chinatown's been awesome. See you later, Chinatown. See you later. That is my bus. I gotta go find somewhere to camp. I will see you guys tomorrow.